how much money would you love to bring into your business every month? Well, I want to let you into a little secret. The more you track your money, the more you will attract money. I'm Carol Bernadette Boskurt, and I'm a sales and marketing strategist and business mentor. And I'm making videos like these for business owners like you to help you find and attract your dream clients and turn them into paying clients. So why is it so important that we track our expenditure? Well, one, you have better money management. You know what's coming in and what's going out of your business. And when you couple that with forecasting, you're golden. You know what's coming in, what's going out, and what's going to be coming up in the way of expenditure for your business over the next few months. And you know what money is consistently coming in as well. And understanding your cash flow is crucial to the survival of your business. And if you truly want to build a business that's six figures or multiple six figures or even seven figures, you have got to get on top of your money. The second thing as to why you need to track your money is it enables you to understand the profitability of your business very, very quickly. So, for example, because you know what's coming in, what's going out, you've got a better, much better idea if you're hitting your targets as well. Let's say, for example, an opportunity arises for you to join a mastermind and you'd love to join that mastermind, but it's $500 a month. And the thing is, you've got the money to pay for it this month and next month, and you think there's no problem, you'll just go ahead and do it. But without knowing what's coming in and going out of your business, without tracking all those costs and without doing the forecasting, you don't know if you're going to have the money to comfortably pay for it in the next three months, four months, five months. So it might be OK today, but what about tomorrow? So when you track your money, when you know what's coming in and what's going out, it's far easier for you to know how profitable you are. And that means that you can make better informed choices. So if we go back to our example of the mastermind, what you can then do is you can say to yourself, OK, I, I know I've got the money for the next couple of months, but actually I haven't got it for the rest of the time. So. I'm going to give it a miss this time. And what I'll do is I'll start putting that money aside, maybe into another account. And then when the next round of the mastermind comes, I'll join it and I'll have the money to pay for it all in one go. Or you might say to yourself, actually, I really want to join it. I really want to take up this opportunity. So I'm going to come out with an offer that I hadn't planned but I'm going to bring an offer out to my ideal audience and I'm going to get the money that way. So you might decide to put on a mastermind day, could be online, or you might do a paid for webinar, or you might bring out a short course that you sell and then you get the money and then you can pay for it. And it hasn't encroached on anything else that's going on in your business. So you can make those decisions when you know what's going on in your business related to your money and what's coming in and what's going out. But I want to tell you something. What I am always shocked about is the reluctance that small business owners like coaches and consultants or stylists or well-being therapists have at tracking their money, at finding out what their figures are, what those numbers are. There is a really big reluctance to do that. And sticking your head in the sand isn't going to help you build a business. Now, some of the coaches that I work with and that I help support, what we do is we figure out actually what their expenditure is like for the first for, for the whole of the year. So we might say, OK, how much money do you need for your business to operate across a 12 month period? And then how much money do you need to have 
in your home so that it runs smoothly? And are there any big expenditures coming out this year? You know, maybe you're having the boiler redone or you need to get a new car or whatever that might be. And we sit down and we figure out what that sum is. And then what we do is we come up with a plan to actually generate that money in the first three months of the year. So for some coaches, it will be selling an online course. For other coaches, it will be maybe adding in a mastermind that they hadn't planned on doing. And if you can get your money in the first three months of the year or the first three months of your new financial year, what it means is it takes the pressure off. You feel really good. If you had started, say, in January at the beginning of the year, by the end of March, maybe, say, even going into April, you had generated all the money. And I mean, after tax and after after all the taxes that the government take, after all of that, you've got profit and that's your profit. And actually it pays for your life for the whole of that year. You're then working from a very, very powerful position because everything else that you earn becomes profit. And that's a great place to be. It's a great place having a large lump sum of money in your bank account, knowing that the mortgage is going to be paid or the rent is going to be paid every month because the money is there and all the bills have have got have been paid because the money is in the account. It puts you into a great position and you feel fantastic because of it, you know, and then you can then start to really build on creating a profitable business and getting more clients in and having more revenue come in. And it totally shifts your way of thinking. However, it all starts off with knowing your numbers. So if you don't know your numbers, if you don't know what's coming into your business and what's going out of your business, if you don't manage your money and take it seriously, you're never going to get into that coveted position of being able to say, in the first three months of the year, I made all my money. So for all of my expenses, for my business and for my life, for that, for the next 12 months, everything else I now make is just profit. So I hope that has helped you. Uh, Please let me know what you think about it in the comments. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please uh, press the subscribe button and hit the bell because then you'll get notified whenever I release a new video. So take care everyone and bye for now.